is an ex male stripper. Oh, what's his what's his intro music? Give it up for Perry Kurtz. <laughs> for everybody you've seen tonight. Let's hear for all the comedians that up here. And most of all, let's hear for the lovely auntie okay, okay. for putting this amazing party. It's just beyond belief. There's lights everywhere. There's a beautiful dog walking around. I mean, other than myself. There's meteors in the trees. We got a hot tub and pool. I went swimming earlier because my doctor said, I need to swim. I haven't swum in five years. And after two laps, I said, I haven't swum in five years. I'm getting the fuck out before I die. Uh, well, let me tell you about me. My name, first of all, is Perry. As in Perry Como, you may remember him. Now this Perry Ellis, the clothing designer. There's also Katy Perry. She's a very famous rock and roll singer. Only she's a woman. I'm a man. Don't make me prove it. I proved the last week she looked down and said, Oh, you're Jewish. <laughs> that was a dick joke, by the way. I mean, dick jokes are very popular in comedy. You can only tell a dick joke because they stick out in a comics act. <laughs> and when it comes to dick jokes, people eat them right up. But you know, <laughs> can I get you some peaches? Will that help? <laughs> Oh, but everybody's talking about food. Myself, uh, I gotta watch what I eat. So I'm very particular about my uh, my habits. I'm, I'm diabetic, but one thing I love to eat is chocolate. And you're all just sitting there waiting for me. Yeah, I'm a voracious eater. I will eat you until you're dry. That's the way I am. I never stop, and I'll show you what I mean by that later. But I'm happy to be alive. I am 70 years old, 71 actually. Got all my hair, very happy about it. And no wrinkles on my face. But I have a theory about that. And guys, uh, you want to stay young, one thing you need to do is go downtown. If you don't know what I mean by go downtown, does everybody know what I mean? Okay, eat out at the Y, have a box lunch, are you following me here? First of all, not only will she be thankful and will make her happy, but she'll make you happy, but also the juices have a magical effect, effect on your face. It keeps your face tight so you don't have wrinkles. Look at my face. I, I'm wrinkling my forehead. Nothing. I mean, you don't believe me? Have you ever seen a wrinkled vagina? No. Oh, but I'm surviving. I myself, uh, like some of the people here, I have been married now for the same woman for 31 years in a row, consecutively, to the same person. But fortunately, we've been separated for 12 years, so I've been happy for 12 years. But I'm originally from Philadelphia. Everybody heard of Philly? Anybody ever hear of Philadelphia? I'm originally from, I grew up in West Philadelphia. We were the only white family for six miles in every direction. And I was the N-word to them. So when I grew up, every time I hear it, I twitch. I hate that word. I hate that word. You know, it, it's, it's nasty, but that's not the word. So I grew up there, and then I moved to uh, San Francisco in 79, where I became a male stripper. <laughs> No, you're too far to see that one. <laughs> you're happy looking at my ass, aren't you? I know, he's not hitting it. He's not digging. I don't even have an ass, trust me, I'm white. But I live in San Francisco, and I worked with every 
possible famous comedian. My three best friends were Robin Williams, Rodney Dangerfield, and a guy named Milton Berle. And Milton was my mentor. He used to bring me down here to work at the Friars Club a couple times a year, and he got me into the comedy store. And I've been doing, I'm, I'm very happy. I've been doing comedy now for, since 73, 49 years. This is all I've ever done. I have headlined every major comedy club around the country. I've been on television. I've done corporations. I've done parties for 15,000 people for Coca-Cola. And now I'm here, so my career's over. This is great. This is a break to be in a place where it's free and it, you, you got the air and, it, and the fucking sun finally went down. Jesus Christ. I was burning on every side of my body because I am so white. You can see through me. That's how white I am. But yeah, I moved down to San, from San Francisco in 89 and I met my wife online. And we talked and then we hooked up and then a couple months later I found out she had three kids that did not know their fathers. So I married her just to be a father to these kids. And the main reason I thought it would be safe is because I don't drink. See what happened is, growing up in Philadelphia, we would go down to the shore. You've heard of the Jersey Shore? That was Atlantic City. Well, we'd go down there in the summer. And I was down there drinking double shots of Southern Comfort chased with a Coke, no ice. That's because I'm diabetic and I love sweet things. Cowboy trucker sits down and says, damn, little man like you drinking all that, think you can drink more, little man? I said, if you're buying, he said, I'm buying. He bought me six more double shots of Southern Cover. That's three quarters of a bottle. He got up, I turned into liquid mercury and slid off the stool in slow motion. And I'm laying the same thing, saying the same thing every drunk man says when he knows he's drunk. Well, I'm drunk as shit. It should be easy to pick up a woman now. Men are stupid. I'm sorry, but we really are. Well, I got up and I wandered out of there and I went into the dance club and I'm trying to get people to dance with me and I'm walking up to women and go, I live it. I live it. I was going to fuck myself. Well, I got depressed. I wound up in the corner toward a little girl with big hair. Back in the 70s, they had those big beehive haircuts. But she was just staring at me. But she wasn't responding, just staring at me. And I got depressed. I walked out of the bar, went across the street to the dock, and I was looking down into the Atlantic Ocean, watching the waves crying. I don't want to live. I'm just going to kill myself. I can't take it. And I stepped off the dock. Yeah, what I didn't see was six feet down sticking out was another dock with a big metal railing around it. <laughs> Clang! Well, I woke up in jail with 23 guys standing over me. They're going, hey man, you're funny in your sleep. <laughs> and uh, I, got, I saw my friend the next day and he says, man, I gotta tell you, do you remember anything? I said, last day I remember I was in the bar talking to a little girl with uh, big hair. He goes, girl with big hair, you were talking to a bar stool. <laughs> so I don't drink anymore, but I do have something special for you. You ever see the Late Late Show with James Corden? Yeah. I appeared on there with this. <laughs> this is called a keytar. Because it's a combination of a guitar with a keyboard. And all you're going to do is hit a button and you're playing rhythm and blues. in a Ralph's Market over the freezer section. So what we're going to do, we're going to sing a song you guys probably remember. It's called Louie Louie. And the part you get to sing is you sing Louie Louie. Oh baby, we got to go. Ay, 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 ay. All right? The rest, don't worry about it. Here we go. Sing a 
song called Louie Lou. And guess what? It's gonna be about you. Only two people are clapping right now. The rest of you don't even fucking remember how. That's alright, cause I don't really care. I'm doing it for you people out there. Out there we sing a Louie Lou. Oh, baby. yourself a little rub. I thought that was foam from the Jets, but no. It's something else, I'll bet. Don't drink the water here. Well, it might be good for your face. I don't know. Pick up the shit. All over the place, we sing a Louie Louie. Oh, baby, we gotta go now. I, 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 I said Louie Louie. so fucking white. <laughs> oh, let's see. So, Auntie made a party day for the place. It's out at the pool. I'm down here making up this shit for you and I'm trying not to look like a fucking fool. But I don't really care. I'm making this shit up. I'm doing it as I go along. The best thing is I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I just put it in this song. We sing. Louie, Louie. Oh, baby, hands up. We gotta go now.